Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Monica Lou here at The Love Messages. So today I decided to offer something a little bit different on the channel, just to see if this is something that, um, you know, you as my viewers want to see more of. So what we're going to start doing on the channel, and you can all let me know in the comments below if you want to see more of this, considering the fact that uh, this is the love messages and we talk about mainly about love, relationships, and self-development. So what I've decided to do is I've decided to do a general love reading, particularly for... Um, for Valentine's Day, which is coming up. And I know a lot of you watching really want clarity on your relationship that you're in, okay? So you could be, you know, dating someone, seeing someone, you can be in a relationship, kind of really wanting to know where the relationship's going and where you stand. And if that's you, this is gonna be the reading for you. It will be a general reading. There is gonna be no uh, sign attached or assigned to this reading. But as I go through the reading, I'm going to, um, pull some cards and we're going to see, you know, what's happening and what's going on. Now there will be an extended right after I'm done this, I am going to do the extended and in the extended, I'm going to clarify the cards and I'm going to see about the outcome. I'm going to see about what this person wants to say to you. And all of that will be linked below. If you're interested, if you like this and you want more of these readings on the channel, just comment and let me know. And if there are certain readings that you do want on the channel, uh, just please make sure that it's a gen it's general because you know if it's a specific reading like money reading, I don't really do money readings on the channel. It's more of love readings. Um, I used to do the juice on the channel as well, but I stopped doing that because it wasn't that popular. So we're gonna do this and we're gonna see if this is something that, uh, resonates with you all, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull um, a general card for you, a general card for your person. I'm gonna see how both of you are viewing one another. I'm gonna also take a look at how you both feel and the actions you both are gonna take towards um, one another. This is a timeless read. Um, so most of the extended readings that I do on the channel will be timeless. So literally if you buy it, let's say, you know, um, I don't know, a month, two, a year later, it's still gonna resonate with you because there's still some sort of important lesson that you need to know, okay? So let's jump into this reading, general reading for 2024. Let's see where you're at with you and your person, okay? If it resonates, link will be below for the extended. So let's see what energy you and your person are in. So you're gonna be on the right side. This is the right side. The camera is gonna be flipped. So this might be the left side for you and the right side, but you'll be on this side and your person will be on this side. Okay. So for you, you're the moon. Some of you have a Pisces, like a, like a strong Pisces energy and your person's the seven of cups. Okay, so I'm gonna pull the cards and then I'm gonna go through what each card means and I'm gonna spread the cards out and then flip them as we go throughout the reading and I'll show you what, what I'm getting here. So how, so how you're viewing things at this time, how your person is viewing things at this time how you feel at this time, how your person feels at this time, the actions you're gonna take towards this person, the actions your person's likely to take towards you, okay? And we're gonna be taking a look at your important message and your person's important message. And then I'm gonna do a card. So you both have an important message. I'm gonna talk about the outcome which is which we're gonna talk more about in the extended. I'm not revealing the outcome here. And also if this person had something to say to you, what would they say? Okay, you have something that you wanna say to this person, they have something they wanna say to you. And this is the outcome. We're gonna put the outcome here, okay? Okay, wow, look at the bottom of the deck. You have the lovers. So the overall energy between you and this person is, um, doubt okay the lovers is a card of doubt and underneath that you have the ten of cups so it's almost like you and this person 
first of all you or this person left it's very obvious somebody here left and this is why you're questioning the relationship it looks like for many of you there's a lot of love here there's a lot of love but uh, one of the things a lot of um us don't talk about when it comes to the lovers the lovers is a card of doubt it's a card of you know we met so uh, so unexpectedly you know that i don't even i don't even know if you're you're the one are you the one that i'm supposed to have a happy ever after with so this is a big question mark here now let's talk about you and your energy you are coming across as the moon highly sensitive emotional um a lot of you've been crying a lot of you've been upset about you know, a lot of uncertainty connected to this connection. A lot of you want to know what's happening. Okay. You want answers. You want to know, should I stay? Should I go? Is this worth my time? Is it worth my energy? Your person is coming across as the seven of cups. So I feel with the seven of cups energy, there's a very strong uh, feeling from your person. I'm getting a player energy. I'm getting someone who has a bunch of options on the go. They have a bunch of, you know, people uh, that, that they may be dating or seeing, or they may come across that way. I'm also getting a very distracted energy. So you could be dealing with someone who's constantly on their phone. They're very distracted. I'm getting a bit of an, um, I'm getting a bit of this uh, immature energy. So I'm getting a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Of course, the sign doesn't matter. It's the energy that this person's in. And if that alone resonates with you, then this could be your reading, okay? So let's talk about how you're viewing this person at this time. Let's see. You have the Five of Cups in reverse. So a lot of you forgave this person. For some of you, this person cheated, they lied, or they did something very unexpectedly, and you forgave them or you overlooked some sort of negative experience between you and them. Now, it looks like the way you're being viewed right now, um, or the way you're viewing the situation in general, you're saying to yourself, well, the difficulties are done the difficulties between this person and I have come to an end, which in a way is helping you to realize that maybe there is still a chance here, but you're still questioning it because even though the difficulties to some extent have come to an end, whatever you forgave this person, let's say you forgave this person because of something that they did, it's still there in the back of your mind, okay? And we're gonna clarify this in the extended to see more about how or why you're viewing things like this. Let's talk about how your person is viewing stuff, okay? Your person, Ace of Pentacles in reverse, Queen of Pentacles in reverse, and you also have the Knight of Wands. Whoever you're dealing with, they're somebody who they don't see opportunities. They're somebody who lacks the ability to take advantage of opportunities. I don't know who you're dealing with, but I'm really getting an immature energy. I'm also getting a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. This person has had numerous opportunities, but they just don't see the opportunity. Um, this person tends to ignore you or they tend to pretend like whatever it is that you're offering isn't important. And the more, I feel like this is a karmic energy that you're dealing with. You're dealing with someone who's karmic. They just don't simply see the opportunity. And I'm gonna clarify later to see why this is happening. Now let's talk about how you feel about this person, okay? You have the hanged man. You have the Ace of Wands, and you have the Chariot. You are tired of you're you are tired of waiting for this person to have a new beginning with them. You want to move on from this waiting game. Um, you truly want to feel like you can trust this person, like you can have some sort of new beginning with them. But the problem that I'm seeing here is, is that this person constantly makes you wait. And that's how you're feeling right now. And we're gonna see why this person makes you wait in the extended. Now, let's also see um, how this person feels about you. We have the Three of Wands, we have the Two of Swords, and we have the Queen of Swords. This person 
they feel like you're super logical and you're always complaining. There's something here about you, um, you give this person ultimatum. So you may say to this person, if you don't do X, Y, and Z, well, I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna disconnect from you. This person has a feeling that you've left or you're at a distance from them, that you're far away. So this person doesn't really know how to act. They don't really know how to take action towards you. They've had some sort of problem doing that is what it's showing me. We're gonna clarify and see. Now, the actions this person's likely to take or the actions you're likely to take towards this person, you have the page of cups, you have the two of cups, and you have the strength. You're gonna eventually um, make an offer to this person. That's how you're moving towards this person. You're gonna eventually apologize or you're gonna make an offer or you're gonna expect an apology from them. It's gonna take you a lot of inner strength to make the move to do this. But I think what you truly want is you want a relationship with this person no matter how difficult it's been. That's what you're looking um, to have. Um, actions this person's likely to take towards you. We have the Nine of Swords. We have the Emperor and you have the four of wands. I think this person in the end, I don't see them directly coming towards you, but they definitely want a relationship with you. Whoever you're dealing with, they have a hard time taking action, but they're, it's like they're waiting there. They're waiting for you to take action, which I feel like you will. This person's in anxiety and fear. I'm not sure why they have anxiety and fear in, this, in, in terms of this connection, but we're gonna see. And I think actually, I think the anxiety and fear comes up comes from the fact that this person doesn't know what's gonna happen. They do feel a very strong connection to you, but they just simply don't know what's gonna happen between you and them, okay? Um, if we're talking about your important message, so the outcomes here, I'm gonna reveal the outcome in the extended, where we're gonna go more in depth in what's actually happening between you and this person. I am gonna reveal, um, your important message, this person's important message, and then what you both wanna say to one another is also gonna be revealed in the extended. I'm not gonna reveal it here because I'm not gonna have enough time, but your important message is not to give up on love. Um, love is a process where, you know, there will be challenges. There will be times when things don't work out, um, but you know, if you don't learn the lessons with the person you're already with, the chances of you having to relearn those lessons somewhere else may end up happening. So your important message to self is not to give up no matter how hard something is difficult. And if this is a money reading, that's the same thing, not to give up on your dreams and goals. For your person, important message is the four of cups. Um, the important message for your person is to act interested. If they're not interested or you're not interested, then it becomes very obvious that something here isn't gonna work. Somebody here needs to be pro more proactive. I feel like your person needs to be more proactive if they truly want this with you. And I think that's something that you may need to tell this person. You know, if you really, really, truly wanna be with me, you need to act like it because sometimes it shows me that you're not um, interested. Maybe this person also, their important message is to communicate more and not just to sit there and not say anything. That's something that is gonna determine whether or not you and this person are actually meant to be together, okay? So this is what I have for you. This is gonna be a general love reading. If you want more of these love readings, make sure you hit that like button make sure you leave a comment below. If there's some other readings that you'd like me to do on the channel, um, I'd be more than happy to do that. I think the more you comment and the more people like your idea and what you wanna see more on this channel, the more likely I'm gonna do it because I want to cater to the general uh, populace of the channel. So yeah, in the extended, I'm gonna talk more about what's actually happening between you and this person, where the relationship's going, what you both wanna say to one another, the outcome, and I'm gonna see exactly, you know, is this worth your time? Is it not worth your time? Uh, where's it gonna go from here, okay? So thanks so much for tuning into this and I will be checking comments to see uh, what else you all wanna see on the channel, okay? I'll see you on the next one, bye.